Hello YouTube. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make your own maps. Um so like how to make your own maps like seeds wise, so like when you spawn there'd be like a certain biome or certain trees, mountains, certain amount of ores or anything like that. So you wanna go to Google Chrome and you wanna go the Google actually internet, internet, just internet. And you wanna search Minecraft, as in Minecraft, not W Minecraft. <sighs> Minecraft World Painter. I'll put the link in the description. But this is just if you guys don't want to click on the link. I mean, clicking on the link would be easier. But you don't. Know, searching it up might be really easy. <laughs> um, you want to go to World Painter uh, version 1.5.0. Let me bring in here. No, what? Okay, I don't know. There we go. Okay, so you get to this link. And I go down, and you're gonna find Windows 30. What well, matters on what your version is? Um, mine's a 32, but if uh, you have a 64 bit, you also have to, you have to have a 64 bit Java. The 34 or the 32 will work on the 64 bit, but it will not work with the 62 bit Java. So. Yeah, I've already downloaded it, so yeah, you want to download it and just follow the ins uh, the instruction steps and everything. Then uh, it'll probably break on your desktop if you do everything right. And you want to open it up and look like this. Anything else applies fake or something around that? There we go. And you can see this like C there, you guess. Um, you want to go to File, New. You want to type in the, whatever you want the name to be. I'm just going to name it um, YouTube. Okay. Um, now, this is how big the world's going to be. So, if you click Circular World, it will just be this and it'll be a complete circle around like a spear. So, yeah. Um, you make however big. I'm, just gonna, I'm actually going to bring it down to like 128. Well, 256. So that's the same as the world height. You can also change the world height. So if you have a world changer, like the height mod, you can also do these. Or if you want the world height to be really small, you can do these. But normal is 30, or 26. Or 256. I'm going to choose flat, and you can choose wherever the land is on. But you have to bring down the water one, or also in the water area. So I'm going to bring that down to like 55. No, 54. Get rid of beaches. You don't want that like this. Get rid of that, it'll make it so it looks a little better. Because that's some of that sand and gravel and some stone. Or some sand and uh, clay, and I'm, not sure, I'm pretty sure it's stone. So, yeah, you can get rid of that. Um, biomes, you can make them automatic, so they'll already automatically spawn. Or you can make them custom, make them custom. You can make them both, which means it'll automatically do it, and uh, you can do it. So, yeah. You can choose whether you want the seed to be an ocean or a land seed, it'll change that down right there. But you can change that so it can be a seed, I really don't know. But yeah. Um, you want to click create, and here you go. Um, zoom in a bit, and this is how you can actually, how a lot of people make their, like, custom maps. Instead of using a world edit, they'll actually make a giant area like this, so they don't have to do everything else. So yeah, from here you can actually, there's a bunch of tools, you make pyramids. Which isn't doing anything to give my intensity. Bring that up. Put that there. Right there. There's a pyramid. You make it anyway. See? That one is going like this. This one's going like this. Or next. And that one's going like this then. Um, you can also do like this for mountains. Smooth them out. Like this. You can just do that however you want to. So you can make mountains and everything. You know, make it so you can have like a custom map that's inside of a mountain. Anything, doesn't matter. You can do this however you want to. You know, so yeah, you can smooth this out so it doesn't have that like rugged look or else it's gonna look really bad. But if you are making a custom map, uh, yeah, it won't look that good. So, uh, yeah, right here where my guy is, where the spawn point is, we gotta probably spawn like exactly on that plus sign. So what we're gonna do is just gonna 
I'm, what I'm going to do is, uh, so I'm finding a pillar so you guys can tell this is going to work. I'm just going to tower this up. There you go, that's a max world height. Um, right here, this is how you make mountains, like, really quickly. This one will just raise a certain chunk. This one will, like, actually make a mountain mountain. It's, there's not really much of a difference. But, except for, like, the width and everything and the height uh, progresses, basically. You know, so you can do this however you want to. You can also change the spawn point, so, you know, you're over here, over here. You can find a couple of this pyramid. You can find top of this pyramid, you can find top of this, spawn over here. Really, anything. doesn't matter. Right here, this is a, uh, crap. Is this a sponge tool? This is a sponge. So they're like, here, let's say there's... I gotta bring this down, actually. Here. See, there's an ocean right here. Now, if this is actually a normal seed, you can import your worlds already made. You're gonna click import, and it'll go to your saves file. And that's all you really have to do from there, but I mess with the seed. But let's say you want to, um, get rid of an ocean. All you really have to do is get that sponge tool, and all you can do this. You can just erase it. No more seed there. So you now have like a little crater, and you can make really cool things with that. Right here, um, this is a global operation. It's fill, like, it'll basically fill a whole world or fill certain areas with any biome, water, anything. So yeah, um, right here you can also choose if you want to be snowy. So that area right there will be snowy. Right over here will be caverns or anything. I will get over there. Um, chasms will put on this side. Like giant holes. Uh, let's put over here with like put the normal trees, pine trees we'll put all around here, uh, swamp we can put like right across from this, and then this will be a jungle like right here. So there you go, so now there's a jungle around it. So yeah. Also void, you can do mess with voids, so like if you don't want a custom map, you don't want people leaving a certain area, you can just get rid of that and there'll be a void there, so people can't go past it. Resources just make it so like that area is like really filled. And so yeah, if I wanted to put resources there, all I had to do is that. And then let's say I want to populate and it like increase them basically. So yeah, um, right here you can put custom trains like already ones that are made. You can choose the color of it and anything and the ID number and everything like that. Right there, and then you can just choose normal things like normal grass. Some dirt, sand, desert, and, and all through that, uh, lava, nether, psyllium, bedrock, obsidian, cobblestone, mixture of cobblestone, and, uh, Nazi cobblestone. I don't know what that is. What is that? Uh, gravel, water, deep snow. <sighs> really? Yeah, there's a lot. And biomes will automatically populate, which I really don't want to. Um, so yeah, uh, I will show you guys this world. I'm gonna pause it. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what happens after this. If I can pause it. Oh, actually, one other thing. Um, to save it to your files, you want to click File, Export, and then As a Minecraft Map. And just do this. You can choose Caverns, Chasms, or anything like that. Caverns everywhere, Chasms everywhere. Bam. Bring that up. This is make the world look like I have a huge, ugly Chasms everywhere. Which I don't care, because I'm just going to show you guys this thing. So, Exploit. I'm trying to speed it up because I only got two minutes of the video left since I'm using Bandicam. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I can't pause it. Okay, and I hope this pauses it, so just open up your Minecraft launcher like this, and I will be back, be back on there when, uh, I get to the page. There it is. It's not popped up right there. I'm gonna pause it when I roll loads up. And here we go. See, this is what now it looks like. As I put caverns everywhere, this is what it looks like, so, yeah. I also didn't put it on creative, but you want to do that. There's the pyramid. I'm lagging a bit. Here's another cavern. And this is the void, actually. There's a spawn thing. There's a cavern going through that. There's the jungles. There's the other pyramid. Oh, team, team I's not. Oh, there it is. Creative. Um. Yeah, so you can see all this. It generated the world and everything. 
uh, yeah, there's the pine 